In this video, we'll continue exploring examples of everyday functions. Specifically, we are going to be finding the relationship between the diameter of a circle and the circumference of a circle. So here I have a coaster and two different cake stands. And using my measuring tape, I'll measure the diameter of the circle, which is the largest distance across the circle. And when we are graphing a function, we want a table. This table will have two columns. One will be the diameter of the circle, and the other one will be the circumference of the circle. So let's find the diameter of this first circle. This is about eight and a half centimeters. So let's add that to that column in our table. Now let's find the circumference of this circle. And the circumference is the distance around a circle. So I'll do that by wrapping my measuring tape around the coaster. And from here, I get 27 centimeters. So we'll add the, uh, the 27 centimeters to the circumference column of the table. Now, let's measure the diameter and circumference of this first cake stand. Using my measuring tape, I find that the diameter of this cake stand is about 15 centimeters. And the circumference should be around 47 centimeters. Finally, let's find the diameter and circumference of this cake stand. The diameter would be around 30.5 centimeters. Let's now measure the circumference of the cake stand. And I'll do so by turning it upside down so it's a little easier to find the circumference of the stand. From this circumference measurement, I get around 95 centimeters. So we'll add 30.5 centimeters and 95 centimeters to our table. So now, from looking at the data in our table and calculating the slope of our function, which is rise over run, we find that the slope of our line is around 3.136, meaning that for every one centimeter increase in diameter, the circumference increases by 3.136 centimeters. This is actually very close to the number 3.14, which is the constant pi. As a matter of fact, the mathematically proven relationship for the, uh, between the circumference and the diameter is that the circumference is equal to pi times the diameter. So now using our new function, let's make a prediction about another circle. On your own, let's see if you can find the circumference of this other cake platter I have here. So now I'm going to measure the diameter of this cake platter. And I get 20 centimeters in diameter. So on your own, using the function that we created, plug in 20 centimeters for the diameter and see what you get for the circumference. Share with us what you find for the circumference in any other places you can find pi and apply this function to circles around your house.